Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to design wedding invitation card in Photoshop. Before getting started, please do download the project file, link in the description. With the project file, it will be much easier for you to follow this tutorial. So download the project file and get ready. In case if you want that completely designed .psd file means hit the like button soon after reaching 100 likes, I'll give you the download link. Fine, let's get started. First go to the project file. Open the wedding card PSG inside Photoshop. This one is a design ready file, size is 5 by 7. I have given you the color palette, the colors we are going to use in this design. First, we are going to create a solid color background. For that, select the background group, create a layer, go to color picker, sample and select black color, sorry, white color. Now fill the color. I use the keyboard shortcut Alt Backspace. Next, we are going to create image placeholder. For that, select the image group. Now create a layer. Go to color picker, select black color. Now go to shapes tool, select ellipse tool. Now by holding shift key in your keyboard, create a perfect circle shape like so. If you want, enable free transform tool, control T and resize it. I'm going to place it here. Fine. Next, we are going to drop in our image. For that, go to the project file, open image one inside Photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Make sure to place the image right above our image placeholder. Now right click, clip mask the image. Now enable free transform tool control T and resize it. Fine, I'll settle with this one. Next we are going to add flower images. For that go to the project file. Open image to inside Photoshop. Again, drag and drop the image inside of a canvas. Make sure to place the image inside of a image group. Now enable free transform tool, control T and resize it. Next, I'm going to repeat the very same step. Go to project file, open image three. Now drag and drop the image inside of a canvas. I'm going to place it on left side top corner. If you want, resize it by enabling free transform tool, control T. Fine. Next, we're going to add our text content. I'll move the color palette here. Go to text group, create a layer, go to color picker, sample and select this pink color. The font I'm using is a free font. I'll give a link in the description. You can download it. With size as 34, I'm going to type my text content. I'll create a duplicate copy. Another copy. Adjust the spacings using your keyboard arrow keys. Fine. Next, we are going to add our bride's name. Before that, we are going to create center guidelines. For that, go to view, select new guide. There, select vertical. I'm going to type 50%. Now click OK. We are going to repeat the very same step. View, new guides. Now select horizontal. Now type 50%. Click OK. There you go. We created our center guidelines. Next, we're going to add our bride's name. Create a layer. Go to color picker. Sample and select black color. I'm using the very same font. I'm going to increase the font size to 46. Tap your text content. I'll create a duplicate copy. There you go. Now my text content is ready. In this font, if you type numbers, you will get stroke designs. like so. I'm going with number 2. I'll reduce the size a little bit to 38. I'm going to place one on, on top. Another one on bottom. I'll create a duplicate copy. Control J. Bring it down. I'll place it here. Adjust the spacing using your keyboard arrow keys. Next, I'm going to add the remaining text content. Very same step, create a layer, go to color picker, sample and select pink color. Now you can disable the color palette. Now type your text content. Here I'm going to use a different font. The font is Lato. Free font, I'll give a link in the description. With size as 14, I'm going to type my text content. I'll create a duplicate copy. I'll add another line. There you go. As a final step, I'm going to add a divider line for that. Close the text group, go to design group, create a layer, go to color picker, select pink color. Now go to shapes tool, select line tool, make sure fill is 
selected stroke is disabled with weight as 5 pixels now by holding shift key create a perfect straight line like so there you go now disable the guidelines now our wedding invitation card is ready for printing so that's it guys i hope this video is useful to you don't forget to hit the like button for more tutorials subscribe to my channel and please do check out my other videos thanks for watching take care